Greetings in the name of Jesus. This is Brother Minister from Martin's Ferry, Ohio, coming to you again for the Let the Truth Be Told campaign. And as you've seen on all my other videos, I am on a, a, a city tour right now, going around to each pastor, trying to call them out to sit down and discuss scriptures with me. One of the major topics that I want to get on today, and, and a lot of people can uh, vouch for this all over the nation, not just here in the Ohio Valley, but is the topic on women pastors. Yes, it's a very uh, debatable um, discussion that's going on in Christian circles today, but I see that there should be no debate about it, that we should get back to the truth. So before I get down into it, people always say, why do they call you the watchman? Well, I received my assignment from the Lord. And one thing that I always learned was when you discover your assignment, you will always discover your adversary. Every assignment has an adversary. And right now, the adversaries that I have is these so-called Ohio Valley pastors that, that are going on right here, these professing Christians who think that they are teaching truth, but they're accepting doctrines other than what the apostles taught. As you see, I'll get involved more into it as long as I have time to get down with the scriptures. But right now, I want to show you why they call me the watchman. And I received my calling from here. Turn your page to Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 6. Now, this is the callings that we're missing nowadays. You don't have, it's very rare to see uh, true preachers, true pastors, true apostles, pro, true prophets, whoever was sent to speak the word of God, to actually stand up for the faith, defend the doctrine, and, and don't tolerate any mixtures of, of falsehood in it. We need people to stand up, speak the truth, and just stand for the truth alone. So Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 6 says, But if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. For you true ministers who don't understand that is, if I don't warn you, then the blood will come upon my hand. I must stand and stand up and sound out the alarm to let you know that destruction is coming to your home, it's coming to your church, it's coming somewhere wherever you're standing. If you're truly a uh, teaching and falsehood. So the topic we're talking about is the woman pastors. If you accept a woman pastor in your church or period or vouch for them, you are not of the word. The Bible teaches us that if they speak not according to the word, that the light is not in them. Any woman pastor who stands up and says they're called by the Lord thy God is lying. I'm calling her a flat out liar and be willing to debate anyone, especially Marcy, Marcy Allen at the Mount Zion uh, Baptist Church of Willing, West Virginia. Uh, uh, pastor Shirley Pierre who's preaching right now over Macedonia Baptist Church in Willing, West Virginia. The pastor there is Albert K. Anderson, sorry, Jr. I didn't say it on the last one. Um, and you are allowing it to go on when you know this against scripture. But back to the scripture about the watchman. Verse 7, chapter 33 of Ezekiel. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. So the calling that I have received is to come back to the Ohio Valley to be a watchman for the people. Because first of all, the pastors must be being deceived. And they're, they're also being deceived themselves. So I'm here to warn the people. If you do not get into your Bibles and study the word of God or what your pastor is teaching you, it is also now upon you. But you false pastors, I got a message for you that the Lord wants me to read to you out of Jeremiah before I get on this topic of woman pastors. First of all, I want to say this. I am not, uh, uh, um, I do not hate women. I don't believe that they're less than us. I believe that women and men are equal, but we have different roles. You'll see when I explain in these uh, sessions about women pastors that I am actually talking about divine order. God has a divine order and I'm going to speak it unto you. But I'm going to go back to the words. So I'm still sticking with the fact that, I'm, and I want to point this out to the PAW, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, who we call ourselves apostolics. I, you hear me say we because I'm part of an apostolic church, but I don't, I don't consider myself an apostolic, Baptist, uh, Pentecostal, or I, I do believe in Pentecostal, but... Um, uh, Catholic, um, any denomination. I'm just a Christian who reads the Word of God, who follows the Word of God, who's filled with the Holy Ghost. But I don't like to uh, believe in um, denominations. Why I have a scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 10, it says we should believe the same thing, we should say the same things, and there should be no divisions among us. And I believe denominations divide us, which is over 38,000 different Christian sects or denominations. That doesn't make sense to me. And then you wonder, we wonder why people don't want to be Christians. But anyway, back to the thing, to you pastors who are 
accepting these women pastors, these pastors who are allowed in there and, and, and vouch for them, and you women pastors who obviously are lying, because according to the word, you're not sticking with it. Woe unto you pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. You have scattered my flock, driven them away, and had not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. I know we're talking about women pastors, but I do want to take this back to Minister Spencer from Shallow Temple Church in Martins Ferry, Ohio. Uh, as you see that scripture in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 2, it says, You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. You admitted to me that you do not call back the people who leave at the church, the people who just left um, the night of the revival, who uh, the lady spoke at the revival. I wish I knew her name. I'd call her name out. But uh, it was a whole hot mess, and people was leaving the church. And you admitted that you never called back the congregational members who left the church. You admitted that. How can you say that you're a shepherd if you don't even go back and visit them, as, as the Word of God says? And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the countries, whether I have driven them, and will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. Listen to what God says in verse 4, chapter 23 of Jeremiah. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. The Lord thy God will raise up shepherds. So you, you people who are seeing the downfalls of these churches and the curses upon these churches because they have women pastors or they accept women pastors, be not afraid because God will raise up true ministers and it will be a remnant, a remnant ready for restoration. I want to get into the scriptures about women pastors. The topic is, should women be pastors? The answer is clearly no, no, no. How can a woman claim that she's called by God and that God said unto her that he has called her to be a pastor of a church? How can she truly claim that? I am telling you right now she's a bold-faced liar if she's actually saying that. And I do want to jump back to Jeremiah real quick, chapter 23. Since we have to clearly get in the word of God, see what the word says. And I'm saying right now, especially to Ohio Valley pastors, woe unto you. People in the PAW who accept it, woe unto you. Verse 14 of chapter 23 says, I have seen also in the prophets of Jerusalem an horrible thing. They commit adultery and they walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none doeth return from his wickedness. They are all of them unto me as Sodom and inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah. Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They, st they say still unto them that despise me, the Lord has said you shall have peace. And they say unto everyone that walketh after the imagination of his own heart, no evil shall come upon you. I have not sent these prophets yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. I have heard what the prophets said, that prophecy lies in my name, saying I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart. There's a lot of people out there who is false prophets, and God is not telling them to say what they say. A few in Ohio Valley, Zabra K. Anderson, Bobby Ellsworth of Pilgrim Rest Baptist Church, Marcy Allen of Mount Zion Baptist Church, Shirley Pierre of the Blair Baptist Church, Minister Spencer of the Shiloh Temple Apostolic Church, Dean Myers of a Harbor Hope, members of God, and, and, uh, and other many other um, pastors who accept this stuff. Let me see how much time I got left. I'll be probably touching more on in the next segment on this subject on women pastors so make sure that you stay tuned to this and you get into this and we will go to uh, the book of Timothy and get back to these women pastors by phone number 740-310-2022 for any women that want to debate this any pastors in the Ohio Valley that want to debate this or any other one that wants to debate this if you say that God is calling a woman to pastor a church I'm telling you that you must not have the Holy Ghost in you because the Holy Ghost has written this Holy Word of God and that the spirit that is in you should be able to agree what's in this Word of God if you go against it the light is not in you so back to segment two and we're going to touch deep into scripture alone if a woman could be a pastor she shouldn't even be teaching in the pulpit or a servant authority notice I said a teaching nor a servant authority I will get back to you. Let the Truth Be Told campaign is coming to a place near you. God bless you.